Hi there, it's Chris aka Spielkind RC. So like I talked about in my video, how much is enough collecting, I started to concentrate on buying mainly Amiga games from my youth. So I bought a lot of games in the last couple of weeks and I was shocked how many of them were actually simulators. Let's have a look. So you probably spotted a few of these boxes in my last few videos already and I now have them all here so let's talk about them. So when I think back to my old Amiga years I remember me mainly playing point and click adventures like Monkey Islands or Day of the Tentacle. So these games were one of the very first that I bought back for my collection to put these sweet memories into my shelf. So when I started to think about what games I might be missing, naturally I first checked point and click adventure games and it seemed like I pretty much had them all that I remember. That's going to be a theme though. So next thing, I went through all my memories, what other games did I really miss and uh, was really liking back in the day. A lot of like simulators came to mind, like Gunship, and Grand Prix, then Interceptor, F-16, F-119, Science Service. I started to see a trend. So how can I be sure that so many years later that I had all these games? Good question and I wasn't sure if I could trust my memories. But for one, I have this box. I forgot about this box for quite a long time. It was stored away with some other stuff, uh, stuff that I totally forgot about. But now, with my new mission to find my lost games from my youth, I remembered and uh, went and had a look through this box. And it seems like I sold a lot of my old games without the manuals. So I thought this is quite a good start and it also jogged a, quite a lot of memories. The next starting point was then going through some pictures on eBay. What collector doesn't love to do that? It's always nice to have a good reason to browse some retro seller store or even better, someone's page that obviously clears out his cellar or a gar his garage and maybe sells a lot of Commodore stuff. By doing so, just seeing the cover for a split second can sometimes remind me of the package smell and texture even. Then normally I just take a note what's missing uh, and what I need to track down. Maybe I'll just make a bet right on the spot if the box looks great or even good enough. Very quickly I realized that I had a big thing for simulators that I didn't remember. And I mean big time that even aren't all the games that I remember having. And I mean, from planes to tanks to spaceships, everything of any era. But I remember the manuals, missions and everything. Did I have so many games at once as a child? Probably not. I probably sold some of them or swapped with fr friends. But yes, I got a lot from my parents, especially my father was very generous when it was about computers. I always got very lucky when we were in holidays in Switzerland. And I'm not talking about the skiing kind, um, more like let walk and see and enjoy the nature. That kind of uh, childhood horror holiday. But on the other hand, the Swiss had also a big thing for Commodore back then. And every time we, so my parents and I, went into any bigger town, you normally could find a computer store where I could get my father to buy his sad son a game or two, or three. We always took my C64 and later my Amiga 500 with us to Switzerland, so I could play them then, and suddenly that holiday was only half as bad. So that's maybe why I had so many original games. Why so many simulators then? 
Sure, they were fun, uh, but so much fun. Maybe it was easier to get my father to buy those. That's what I can't remember. But hey, at least they aren't very expensive. Not like point-and-click adventure games. So it's a lot easier to buy them back. You can still get them relatively cheap, which is awesome when you need to buy so many. I also loved to build plastic models and planes and tanks at the time. I have a ton of books as well about set weapon systems, uh, so preteen me must have had a big interest in that stuff and simulators were probably just part of the obsession, I guess. Also a big plus with the games was that they really lasted for quite some time. They had a lot of content for the money, in-game and off-game. Just thinking of all the extra stuff that was included in the boxes. It's crazy. Still, I can't remember playing them for hours and hours like I do with other games. I remember some of them, some more better than others. And that's the thing, you really had to study these games to be able to play them. So I remember learning and studying for the space shuttle simulator that I had back then. And for example, I was wearing a blue overall with batches of NASA and real mission bat batches as well, for authenticity's sake. <laughs> but nothing comes to mind thinking about F-19, for example. I remember weapon systems from a tech sub 688, uh, but nearly nothing of Pegasus. I remember vividly flying air raids with my friends in the finest hour, but I can't remember a thing of Falcon. So does my mind play tricks with me to remember backup copies of the games that I didn't play because I didn't have the manuals? Do I remember boxes I wanted to have that I saw in the store? But why do I have so many manuals then? But to be honest, there are manuals in there of games I can't remember at all. And I know what you are thinking. Maybe I bought a box of manuals of eBay a long time ago. Or it was part of a bundle or something. No, I, I don't think so. I think I would remember. Or do I? So I'm not quite sure what games I really had in the end. I know I played a lot of them, and but I'm not 100% sure which. I love all of these, and I got memories of these. But now I start to question my memory and sanity even. So what do I get at the end? The replay value of these isn't that great nowadays. The graphics may play with 15 frames a second at best, and it didn't age as well like the lovely 2D pixels from the games way back then. And today I just don't find the time for getting into these games as much than I did back then. So I got some nice boxes with a lot of fun books and stuff. Some nice memories, maybe even some fake ones too. But going through these games also um, brought up another thought. What happened to that genre in general? I mean, the genre of simulator games. And then I thought, maybe that's a good topic for another video. So I think m maybe I make a video about all kind of genres that kind of went missing. Maybe I'll just talk about your favorite game genre and what happened to it and where is it nowadays. If you don't want to miss that video, please like and subscribe. So, how did you feel about simulators? Did you Do you still play some? Or are you like me and looking at the boxes nowadays is quite enough? Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Chris out.